One of the primary focuses in research in movie is in the area of intelligent autonomous systems, in particular unmanned aircraft systems. Research ranges from constructing robust navigation systems, especially those that are non-GPS visually based, to dealing with sensor and knowledge fusion in such systems to support decision-making capability. There are a broad range of application areas for such intelligent flying systems. One particularly exciting and beneficial application is in assisting emergency services personnel in catastrophe situations such as the recent earthquake in China or the tsunami in Thailand. Great progress is being made in these areas thanks to support from the SSF Movie Excellence Center. What we have developed in this very exciting movie project is a, a tool for research in neuroscience in general. Uh, giving the researchers the possibility to in, in real time and interactively study the functionality of the human brain during experimentation. fMRI is an emerging technology which is used to measure the functionality of the brain. With our new methods we can measure the activity of the whole brain as often as every second. We can see if you're looking to the left or to the right and we use this to control things in real time. We have developed methods for providing haptic feedback from uh, medical data and from scientific data for scientific visualization. And uh, this can be also done with dynamic data. Direct volume rendering has become an invaluable tool for interaction and understanding of complex structures in medical volume visualization. However, solving equations of full light transport is very computationally demanding and approximations are needed. Look Ahead Control is a demonstrated project together with Scania that aims at reduced fuel consumption in driving. Thanks to new communication technology like GPS, it's possible for a vehicle to know where it is. And therefore, it's possible for it to automatically plan up in and down in driving. The product that is foreseen is a new intelligent cruise controller with adaptation of speed to save fuel. The movie UAV demonstrator has for us been a perfect platform to reach our research goal, to generalize experience from one application to theoretical frameworks applicable to other applications. Our previous theoretical work on the Marlins particle filter has been instrumental in the development of the movie UAV demonstrator, which is based on the SLAM concept, simultaneous localization and mapping. Previously, such a SLAM concept has been used for ground-based robots, and we have within MUVI extended this framework to include airborne platforms as well. MUVI has extended our knowledge and understanding of collision avoidance systems, and we now have a larger theoretical framework for sensor fusion and decision making, which is applicable to UAVs, cars and other vehicles. Since uh, MUVI started, we have for instance started a new project with SARP for collision avoidance of UAVs. More specifically, the SLAM approach that we developed within MUVIE is quite promising for situational awareness in cars, which is a very important part of any collision avoidance system. Hence, the basic research carried out within MUVIE will most likely be very useful in future collision avoidance applications that we have together with Volvo. The Air Traffic Control Project is a long-running project in collaboration with Eurocontrol, the European Centre for Air Traffic Control uh, navigation and safety and uh, they've been funding us to test whether or not three-dimensional displays where you can see the aircraft in a three-dimensional airspace are better than standard two-dimensional radar screens. The goal of movie is really to develop theory and methods but we are convinced that that is best done in close connection with practical concrete problems. So we have chosen to work in a basic research practical applications loop where theories are tested out on real life problems and we get ideas how to renew and improve theory. We have chosen to work with a, a few concrete demonstrator projects. They are uh, quite different and exciting and challenging as we have seen. But the goal remains to aim at theories and methods that can be applied to a large number of problems in decision-making in complex systems. It's in the area of intelligent systems.